which says, it's, it's John Dewey, which says that what the best and wisest parent wants for his or her child, that must the community want, or should the community want for his or her child. And the rest of it says that anything less is narrow and unlovely and acted upon, it undermines democracy. That's one of the most powerful things because what it says is, in, in a nutshell, is, you know, we ought to be doing for all kids what we know affluent parents just do naturally. And that we ought not tolerate this unbalance and this unequitable situation in our state, which is access to high quality programming. And this whole notion around opportunity and access is critical to this debate. Go to the families, pull them out, get them in, in, a, in a program, get them early before it's too late and then we trying to fix a bigger problem. So go to where the family is. Once our kindergartner come into the school and a teacher has identified him as a problem child, we need to jump on that ASAP before they end up in high school and get ready to drop out. What is it that we really want? to see that it's real, make it real, and keep it real. And I am a person about action. We must put ourselves out there to make it work. And it's going to take the entire community, not Lucy, not Miss Hale, and not all of these, it's going to take the entire community to where we are trying to develop our programs. I think if we could know every child, we, could, we went to uh, New York last year we listened to Jeffrey Kennedy talk about the Harlem Children's Center. What my understanding of what they do is they make a pledge to every child that lives in the 92 block area. And they they have I don't know, I don't know the population, but ten times what we have. They make a pledge to every child and their family that if they get engaged or involved in those programs, they guarantee that they will get through school and go to college. If they can do it, we can do it. We can know every child in this area. 